May we now request Shri KVS Gopalakrishnan, IPS retired, to share a few words about the legend. It is in the same stage we have been meeting often. I think if the audience would recollect, the noble 90 were felicitated in the same stage almost a couple of years back and they think he was yet to complete 90 at the time. And later, on April 27, 2018, his 90 was celebrated here. Not only that, his association with the PS Educational Society has been long. Even though I was a newcomer to Chennai after several years out of Tamil Nadu and elsewhere, I think it was Shivakumar who introduced me to him somewhere around 2012 and somehow he took a lot of liking for me and one of the things which he said was, you have my father's name. That is what is one of the things which he used to mention. But he had a rare quality of picking up people. That is one thing. If at all, he was associated with diverse activities he knew how it could be got done. I think if it was Mahalakshmi Welfare Association, I think he left everything to Akshay. He knew what he wants will be carried out and I think they are there. Similarly, Rajaji Center for Public Affairs, C.S. Ram would do it and I think he was doing it. And then he had a team in Pasarati and Narasimhan and Triplican Cultural Academy. And then he left it and I think these people have been organized and he will say, because the last program which uh, took place, which I still remember, is Montek Singh Aluwalia team uh, for a part of uh, Triple Gain Cultural Academy. So I think he was having interest in law and he knew how to carry out the task. I think that is where I think his, uh, I think somebody else also said, Ilanai Ivanal Mudikim and Rande Adane Avankan Vidal, that was his main uh, thing. Not only that, he never forgot about how he grew up in Kumbakona. He always used to feel, I came up uh, from that area and I think he also was very much attached to the Kumbakona World Student Association. Our A.M. Swaminathan was the president. And after the book releases here, and I think he wanted to have a separate book release of any particular in Kumbakona. And he insisted that I must come there and I must also deliver the Venkatraman Memorial Lecture there and then once he went there he was so nostalgic about the place and then the educational institution with which he was associated. That is why he says people should not always be carried away by only the urban population. He says knowledge is not the monopoly of metropolis. He has given in his uh, book. And he always felt people should raise themselves by your own hand. And we have in Bhagavad Gita and then that is what he was by his own sheer industry. I think whenever I used to feel he used to go back to his old days, how he came to Madras and settled down. And I think he gives so much of encouragement for the youngsters. I think if only people read his book, I think they will say, I learned from my father that job satisfaction and being useful to others and not mere money or more reliable indicators of success in life. You don't have to work ever in your life if you do what you enjoy doing. And he enjoyed whatever he was doing. And uh, somehow he said, whenever he used to have the Navaratri Puja, I think he also used to go once, even during the Navaratri Puja to Kumbakonam. And I think Mahalashmi Welfare Association, today also I was talking to Akshaya. The first day for that inaugural, he will be there, whatever is his commitment, he will come and be there. And I think he used to end up. Only small school children used to come and perform there, but he, he was rejoiced at that. And I think one, he was, everybody was telling what we should look at his values. I think he very clearly said it is better to be an honest miser than being a dishonest spendthrift. Uh, but he would like to give money, but I think it will not be known to many. And he has been taking the cause of education so much, I think every year, Thanks to Shivakumar and others, I think after my coming to know him so much of our own institutions after that, every year for hundreds of students he has been giving scholarships 
but I think everything is on a low key and I think not coming into the page 3 of uh, the newspapers or anything, it is one thing he is doing his duty. And one thing he as well as others I think who worked with him will be the punctuality. I think whenever it has to happen, it has to be in the, and I think people like Shivakumar being there, I think they will be very meticulous about the minute, one hour and fifteen minutes means one hour and fifteen minutes will be out. I think they will be prodding other people. So, and his attachment to Alma Mater and uh, not only that, and I think his, because of being a police officer, he was also, and he is also said that in his book, as to how his father's name saved him from overspeeding. Because he said, your father, headmaster Gopalakrishna, so I think my overspeeding was forgotten by the officer, he said. And he was also talking about how sometimes people try to bully him in investigations and then directive, vigilance and anti-corruption. He said how he went prepared before the officer, I don't want to name here. And he was stubborn. That is one thing. Once he was thorough on his legal work, yeah, I think everybody knows it is not evasion of tax, it is avoidance of tax. And I think it is legal, that is what he would say. And I think how he faced, and he has been uh, getting mentorship from people like Aram Sheshadri, uh, Radhaji and uh, Mr. S. Venkatraman. And when Aram Sheshadri son was here, he made use of him to talk about the uh, American elections that time. I think he came, when before Trump was elected, uh, Mr. Krishnan, the son of Aram Sheshadri was here in the same uh, school campus and then spoke about it. But as Murumurthy said, challenges during the emergency, I think he could face any type of hardship and he was prepared for that. And everyone would agree that in conflict resolutions, all the people associated with him, he is such a pragmatic approach if there is anything. That is why he says, it is better to have imperfect decision with unanimity rather than having perfect decision with a majority. So somehow, I think uh, Mr. Rajaratnam was telling, Guru Murthy has to become president. He will do it everything very quietly and I think nobody would come to know what he has got in his mind. But that is the type of person and today he is not with us. I think we always have to remember Tirukkural. Nerenal Udanurvan Indilla in Parumai Padai Tivulahu. Actually I got the news from Shivakumar when I was abroad and I was quite shocked because only a month back I had talked to him. Once in a while I used to talk to him and then sometimes go and sit with him. And it was such a, no doubt he was having a decline in health, but nobody expected that it was going to be so soon. I think our condolences to Mildiyas and other members of the family. Because whatever has to happen, jo kalte wo aaj nahi hai, jo aaj nahi aaj hai wo kal nahi honge. This is the poem which uh, Vajpay, Atal Bihari Vajpayee has written, Yakshaka Prasna. And he said, Maybe this question, let it remain unanswered. And if at all, let Yaksha come and tell the answer himself. He is not with us. Let the noble soul guide us in all our endeavors. Thank you. The true skill of a leader, delegating, co-opting, co encouraging young minds. Thank you so much, sir.